Hey love, so I am here. I'm about to make a trip to Michael's, maybe Hobby Lobby, I don't know. But I think I'm gonna go to Michael's and what I'm looking for is some glitter, some gloves maybe, and some etching cream so I can do some more things with my drinkware. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna bring you all along with me and hopefully we can find the things that we need to find. Unfortunately, in the area that I am in, there's not an art store for at least about 30 minutes. And then this time of day, I should've went earlier. Definitely should've went earlier, but this time of day, um, there's a lot of traffic because I'm and you know, people are getting off work. So it's not quite rush hour, but it can get a little hectic. So I don't know. We'll see where it goes, so let's go. All right, so about, ooh, it's bright. So about 30 minutes later, we are now here at Michael's. Can't tell if y'all can see that, but we're here. So we're gonna go and see if they got everything on my list here. So here we go. Okay, so I just had um, one of the employees here to show me around. She was awesome. And I just quickly wrote down the aisles where everything was on. So I got me a cart, a little rolly cart. And I'm going to pick up everything now. So I think I'm on the right aisle. So I'm looking for some etching cream. I actually got some at home, but it's kind of old. So I might get some etching cream. It's expensive though. So maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna say maybe not, because it's expensive. Like the cheapest one is like 15 bucks. Yikes. And then like they got some bigger ones down here that's like 32 and 40 bucks. No ma'am. <laughs> um, so, I was looking at gloves, but I do have some at home and all. I just kind of wanted to get some while I was here. Some of these things I'll probably just be better off getting on Amazon because I'll be able to get more bang for my buck, if you know what I mean. But what I definitely came here for was for the glitter. So that is my main priority. Um, so in this store, it's on aisle 53 and 39. All right, so this is like, the mega load of glitter here. All of that. And I think this is the brand that I already have at home, which is good because I do have a couple of colors. I got gold, pink, and green. This isn't the same brand, or I'm not sure it looks different, but I think it's cool that it has the fine glitter and the chunky glitter which is amazing. And it's about 550. So not too bad expensive. I think I'm gonna get red. I also am feeling the purple, silver. Hopefully they got some black. This is black. Kind of looks black. I can't tell if it's black or if it's like a dark purple. Yikes. Let me see what the sticker says. I'm trying to decide if there's any other colors that I want. I'm really digging this here up and show you so it's kind of like a I would say this is definitely more of like a uh, like an electric blue and this is more of like a teal mix yeah it doesn't quite say what color it is on here but just by looking at it, those are the kind of feels I'm getting. So I might get that also. So 550 times. One, two, three, four, five, six. 550 times six is about 3250 plus tax. 
So this glitter alone is probably gonna be like around 35 bucks. Hopefully I can find me a coupon somewhere. <laughs> Live for a good coupon. Um, I'm trying not to get distracted by this because it's super pretty. I have more than enough glitter. Um, but it's not, it's, mm, it has a little bit more pizzazz than just the silver one. So I might get it, might not. Um, this one is four bucks instead of the five fifty. So that'll bring my total up to like around forty bucks. And I didn't want to spend that much, but we'll see what we can find on the coupon front. I think the only other thing that I would really be interested in getting today is definitely a planner. Sometimes I can get really off track and that's on aisle 60, so we'll see. Okay, so we're by the planner. Definitely need to get my life in order. These are real cute, but I don't know how much they cost and they're small. I kind of want something a little bit bigger but not huge. Okay, so I am in the car. I'm sorry about that streak. It's getting on my nerves. But I ended up spending around 39 bucks, 39.08 to be exact, on a bunch of glitter. But like I said, as long as I can get my tumblers to sell, it will definitely be money well spent. Um, I'm excited about it. I'm a little scared, um, but I'm excited and hopefully I can make some wonderful things. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Let me know. But um, I'm super duper excited and I ended up getting the planner, the to-do planner. Because honey, I got a lot to do. So this is going to come in handy. And then also, I just really like the color. I love yellow. Yellow is just such... A happy joyous color so here it is I am going to take my butt home before I'm sitting in traffic I will see y'all back at the house all right peeps so I'm finally back home please disregard my messy messy desk I've been doing projects over the weekend and I just been getting a lot of things um, coming in through like Amazon and things I've been buying so stuff is just kind of everywhere I'm going to reorganize everything but um, let me just show you what I got from Michaels. Whoa. Yeah. It's definitely time to get everything back in order because this is a hot mess, y'all. All right. So from Michaels, got the planner. And like I said, I spent like 39 bucks. I think it was $39.08. So this planner was $5.99 plus tax. And this is some of the things that is in it. The work hard, play hard. I thought it was super cute. And it has an area for errands, housekeeping, emails, phone calls, which are all things that I definitely need to keep up with. There's also to buy appointments, um, business and miscellaneous. So this is perfect. Yeah, it looks like, okay, so it looks like a spray, and then you put the date at the top, and then you plan out everything that you have. So I really, really love these categories. It's um, really straightforward, <laughs> you know, so there's little margin for error, actually no margin for error. This is foolproof. It's cute. It's small. I love it. And then let me pull out the glitter. So I did decide against the black duo glitter, mainly because I couldn't tell if it was um, black or not. It kind of looked like a dark purple. I couldn't, I just really couldn't tell. But um, yeah, I got the blue, the kind of electric blue with the teal chunky glitter. Got the red, it's fine and chunky. I'm just gonna stack them up. It's so cool. It kind of look like a, um, like the Megatron <laughs> from like Power Rangers. So those are those two. Got the silvers, fine and chunky. Next, I got the iridescent, aka white. And then 
last but not least for the duos, or at least I think this is last but not least, I got purple, fine and chunky. I did get black in just a fine. Um, well, actually, it's not a super fine. It's kind of like that medium size that I was telling you all about. Like, it's still small, but it's not as fine as those other ones. But this looked a lot darker than the other one. And then I also got a hot pink and that kind of medium size. So, like, let's compare. So, this is, like, hot pink, and this is purple. And on the purple, the fine is on this side here so like you could just tell that there are two different sizes it's not exactly chunky hold on let me wipe that off so it's not exactly chunky but it's not exactly fine it's like bigger it's like in between so that is that and then i did get the little confetti the kind of pink, blue, and silver one in the small vial. I was desperately looking for it in the two ounce. So that's this size here. But they didn't have it. They only had it in the teeny tiny vial. But that's okay. And then I think that's all I got from Michael's. And then I stopped at Dollar General, which is right by the house. And I went there for one thing. <laughs> I went there for some chips because I ate my boyfriend's chips, so I wanted to go ahead and replace those. But I found these fabulous mugs, and I'm trying to pull them out now. I got two of them, so I'll just show you one. They look just alike. And they were a dollar, and they are huge. So I thought this was awesome. Um, this would be great like if you wanted to have soup. You could put it in this. So I'm thinking about glittering those out also. So yeah, that was my little shopping trip there. I'm trying to see. Oh, and I also got some acetone, aka nail polish remover. Um, because I've been seeing that this is good, like if you need to remove epoxy, like if it kind of like overspilled. While it's still wet, you can use this to remove excess epoxy um, so it doesn't smear on your cup. So yeah, that was my day out shopping. And I also got some things in the mail yesterday, I believe. Yeah, it was yesterday. So let me share those with y'all. I already opened it up, but I haven't really gone through it yet. Oh, okay, so here's the box. And I ordered it from Amazon. I got this from Dollar General, so disregard that. So in here, I ordered some um, medicine cups. And I wanted the medicine cups specifically. Let me see if I can get it to focus. All right, so with the medicine cups, they have the measurements on them. And I knew that I would definitely need that um, when mixing the epoxy um, resin and hardener together because it has to be equal amounts or else you run the risk of getting uh, like soft spots in your epoxy. So yeah, I definitely want to get the disposable medicine cups with the measurements just so I can be super sure um, that I'm using the right amounts. And I also got these right here. So these are silicone brushes. And I've seen people in videos use them to help evenly spread out the epoxy on their cup. The silicone brush tip. So these are definitely reusable. And as you can see, they're flexible. They're a little rigid. But uh, for the most part, they're pretty flexible, as you can see. And it's supposed to help give you a smooth application. A lot of people like to just use their fingers, and that's what I've been doing so far. But, um, you know, just to have it, just in case I want to move to just using the silicone brushes. There it is. And then this is my cup tisserie. <laughs> this is exactly how it came. So I'm assuming this is like the motor here. 
this is the motor and the cup history was like 20 something bucks I think 29 I'll double check in my Amazon order but it was less than 30 bucks and then these are supposed to be the um, the foam part adjustable foam grips so it'll fit inside of your mug and then I guess it came with some things to put it together and I'm not going to do that right now but it looks like it came with a little Phillips head screwdriver and I'm assuming this is supposed to hold this part here like that so it can rotate and then the instructions there and then this appears to be the base so yeah you guys i'm excited to really get started with this business i have an etsy shop um and hopefully it will take off soon i just have to get myself together and um there are definitely more things that i need to do so yeah, like I was saying, there's definitely more things that I need to do. Um, one thing that I need to do, I need to work on how I'm going to package this. I want it to look like a professional product. And I have a background in graphic design, so I'm not really too worried about aesthetics. I just need to execute. Also, um, how am I going to brand it? Things like thank you cards, putting in my business cards, putting stickers on the tumblers. Um, and then also figuring out postage. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I really need to focus on? Thank you cards, branding, packaging, mailers, and then setting a price. So I need to calculate how much everything is costing me. Um, and then figure out everything as far as um, how much do I want to charge and am I actually going to be making a profit off of that and are my rates competitive so yes lots of things to do super excited happen to be sharing this with you all i'm going to go ahead and hop off so thank you so much for watching um please feel free to like comment and share and all those fun youtube things um follow me on my social media and i'll have that in the description box below and thank you for watching bye